Hi everybody, happy Sunday and welcome to another episode of Mike's Laboratory. Today we're going to do a review and then I'm going to produce another one today and it's going to be some announcements and some shout outs to people who have done me good. So anyhow, without further ado, let's begin with the reviews. I have some cat stuff. I've got some new stickers from Frank Frank. And I got a nice purchase from Mike Rondinone that I just got to show you because it's so sweet and minty. All right, guys. So without further ado, here we go. All right. Get this camera down to where it needs to be, as always. Okay. From Cotswold Collectibles, I have bought the Super Joe Backyard Patrol that Combat Man Adventure Pack. Yeah, I already opened it. I couldn't resist. Here we go. From White Elephant Toys. I love this retro packaging. Cool. Anyhow, let's dump her open and see what's all in it. Okay. Got a variety of some gear here. This set comes in red and white also, if I remember correctly. I'll put this cool stuff aside for last. <laughs> all right. So to begin, first of all, we've got a pair of nice repro short blacks. Details pretty good. I haven't tried them on a figure yet. Um, the plastic is seems to be closer to the vintage boots. Than the cats uh, repros. But all in all, these look pretty good. We'll stick them on a figure and see how it works, huh? Oh, look! We have a figure right here. Let's see how well it works for this guy. First, we'll pull off this cat's boot. Come on, there we go. And let's see, we'll use the right one. Sweet. Slid on nice and easy. It stretched a little bit as I slid it on because of the more rubbery material. Let's see how good it comes off. Sweet. Very good. All right. Get his boot back on here. Right. We're going to need him a little later. We'll put him over here. Okay. Uh, next, uh, this uh, looks like a yeah, it's a copy of the uh, seat belt cutter pry bar tool from the smoke jumper and a couple other sets. The plastic these are molded in is a bit flexy and rubbery, which is cool. It'll be tougher to break them. All right, fire axe molded in black from the same set. Grenade. Uh, this appears to be from the Classic Collection, a copy of the Classic Collection grenades. Sure looks like them. Binoculars. These look like a uh, late issue AT or Guyperman style. Cool. Flashlight. Again, this reminds me of like a 21st century piece. But again, very well done. Shoulder holster. It's a bit more rubbery than the Cotswold reproductions. It reminds me of the uh, of the Walmart Repro Adventure Team holsters or the uh, uh, the Timeless Collection ones. It's a little stretchier, rubbery material, similar to vintage. Black label. Also a pretty darn good copy. And obviously, it should fit in here. Yep. Okay, what else we got? Flare gun. Just a copy of the vintage. Again, molded in black. A pair of pliers from, uh, let's see, from the smoke jumper set. Oh, sweet. They actually work. Cool. These items, the plastic looks like you could paint it too to make them any color you wanted to be or add some detail to them. 
All right, a 45. Uh, this one looks, I think this is a copy of a 21st century piece. It looks a little big for, it's not definitely not a copy of the Hasbro one. Let's see how well it holds them here. Yeah. A little off scale, slightly large, but not so far that it doesn't work. Okay. And we have a copy of the Demolition Slash Dangerous Removal Bomb. A very nice dog tag reproduction in black. Trench knife copy. Again, pretty slick. A ray gun. Also nicely done. Good with an astronaut figure, maybe. A very good copy of the vintage walkie talkie. Now for the part y'all have been waiting for. Very nice copy of the Magnum Power sniper rifle. Uh, yeah. I gotta say this looks very nice. I have the uh, the you know the uh, GI Joe Club collectors Magnum Power set, and I gotta say that uh, this one is kind of better. <laughs> I'm not seeing any uh, bubbles or any sort of flaws in the mold. Looks pretty good. Let's see about the scopes. Yep, slides right on there just like it's supposed to. Okay. What about the little one? Yep. And this one here, <laughs> this one I always thought was the coolest one of the three. There we go. Sweet. Very, very nice. Gotta say I'm pleased. Um, $24.99 I think was the price. Check with Cots on that. Um, kudos to White Elephant Toys. Great job, guys. All of this stuff looks pretty cool. I may even go ahead and order up the other one of the other color sets. As I was saying before, too, most of these pieces look like you could throw some paint on them if you want more detail. Silver up the blade here. So I had some... Uh, Paint a little silver and brown on the, on the 45. But anyways, very good. I'm very pleased with the purchase. Highly recommended. Get these out of the way and we'll move on to the next thing. Next thing is another COTS item. This is their Explorer Satchel. Bought this out of curiosity is to check it out. When COTS uh, shows these in the uh, in their catalog online, it usually shows a map tube in one of these and a compass or a walkie-talkie in the other. And it's pretty obvious that either would fit. Material's pretty good. Stitching's really nice. Everything is held together pretty good. Let's see how it goes on a figure. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if it goes. Get it over his head and neck. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Hmm. 
There we go. Yeah. Oh, this fine bush hat is from Cots as well. I've had this one for a while. Nice copy. Yeah, that works pretty good. All right. Next up, again from Cots. Uh, this is their Explorer backpack. You can see it's got elastic here on the strap, so you can fit it over, uh, you know, bulkier clothing on your figure. Uh, the material is very nice. It's uh, pretty uh, stiff or thick, coarse weave. Kind of reminds me of like um, Action Soldier or you know, early, any of the earlier uh, vintage G.I. Joe pants and search material. Got a Velcro closure. Two flaps on top with Velcro on them. cool little net pouch on here for putting gear outside and some loops that I suppose you could run a string or some elastic through to tie other things onto the back of the pack. Pretty nice. Let's see how well this goes on the figure. I'm betting it's going to be pretty easy. These straps are obviously quite well long enough. The elastic should help to get the arms through. Yep. Alright. Joel, stand up. Here we go. Yep. A lot of times I'll stuff these backpacks with cotton or something to make it look like there's something in there, but obviously you could actually put some real gear in there as well. Yep. I'm pretty pleased with that purchase as well. This will probably show up in some of my some of my uh, photo stories this summer. Plan on doing a few more of those. Okay, next up, that's it for the cop stuff, by the way. Next up is some new stickers from Frank Frank, the decal man. Uh, this is the uh, Panther Jet set, back of the cockpit and control panel. And if you get up in here, you can see that the detail and everything is very, very nice. Frank did a great job making it readable and legible. It looks like he kind of went off of the space capsule controls somewhat. But all in all, very, very good. Highly recommend Frank for stickers. He's very good at this. I've ordered other stickers from him before that have worked out well. You may recall that I uh, got a set for my uh, Iron Knight tank. And uh, his uniform detail stickers are very nice as well. The other set of stickers I got from Frank for my armored car that I scored at the show last last uh, spring and as you can see they look pretty darn good so anyhow thanks again Frank Frank you're an awesome sticker decal man and your prices are good um, this spare tire I found, this is a uh, spare uh, five-star Jeep tire. I don't have the spare for this, but I found that if you just stuff that Jeep tire in there in about the right place, the friction holds in there pretty good. That'll work till I find an actual one. All right. Oh. Next up for the review, I'm going to review a seller and the items I bought from him. I don't normally pay through the nose for mint pieces, but in this particular case I did because I know and trust the seller. This is the nicest set of ski poles that I have seen outside of original packaging. Little few little flaws. Little bit of paint missing there. But all in all, there ain't nothing wrong with these babies. I said I paid premium price for them, and I'll say what, it was well worth it. I bought them from Mike Rondinone. Mike sells a lot of things. He's got a lot of stuff. And I am just going to say, hey, buy from this guy. Good stuff. All right. 
One last item to close out this video. This I got from another friend of mine, Dave Mansker. Uh, Dave's a guy I've known online for a while here on Facebook and in the groups. And I did some flocking and custom work for him a little while back. And he very generously sent me this really cool jumpsuit. Looks like an ordinary copter rescue jumpsuit. But as a matter of fact, it does happen to be a real vintage Kuiper Man jumper suit. Haven't had, I just got my first Action Man at the show last month. And now another example of some of G.I. Joe's foreign licensing. Suit's in really great shape except for that little stain on the back leg. I'll figure out a figure to put it on. And uh, thanks very much, Dave. Highly appreciated. You're a good man. I like you. <laughs> All right. Okay, folks. Um, that's it for the little reviews today. Um, I'm going to do another video very shortly. That I'm going to be a little commentary, some call outs to some friends of mine. And then we'll call out Mike and Dave again, of course, and tell them how great they are and how lucky they are to know me, right? <laughs> okay. So we'll close out this one. It's been fun as always. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for subscribing. Thank you very much to all my friends and clients out there. And we'll catch you shortly on the next episode of Mike's Laboratory. <laughs>